facts about the liver number one it has a lot of jobs wow the liver is a very complicated organ with a role in nearly every body function according to nancy Ver, md the section of the section chief of hepatology and associate director of organ transplantation at rush university some of its jobs include making and storing energy producing proteins vital for body for body function and playing a vital role in immune function although it's hard to quantify all of the liver's many roles it is easy to see how sick a person becomes when the liver stops functioning says Rowe, who is also co-chair of the american liver foundation's medical advisory committee number two it's the second biggest organ next to skin your liver weighs about the same as a small chihuahua often as much as three pounds and it is about the size of a football it's located just beneath the rib cage on the right side of your body if you could feel it it would be rubbery to the touch number three it has a dual identity organs usually have a job specific to one region of the body glands are specialized types of organs that remove substances from the blood alter or process them then release them to other parts of the body or eliminate them in that respect the liver which filters the body's toxins and pushes them up the body is also a gland number four it has a lot of blood at its fullest the liver holds approximately 10 percent of the blood in your body and pumps nearly 1.5 liters through itself per minute number five bile the liver is a busy brew factory of bile that yellow green or brownish fluid you only ever see when you're greeting the toilet with the stomach flu or a hangover it produces about 700 to 1,000 milliliters of the stuff every day. The bile gathers in little ducts and then moves onto the main bowel duct, where it's carried to the duodenum of the small intestine, either directly or via the gallbladder. While it may sound gross, bile is the key to a body's ability to break down and absorb fats. Number six. It's the only organ that can completely regenerate. The liver has the incredible ability to completely regrow and it only needs as little as 25% of the original tissue to do so. When a person donates more than half of the liver to someone who needs a transplant, the liver returns to its original size in nearly two weeks, Rowe says. According to a 2009 study in the Journal of Cell Physiology, Evolutionary safeguards are responsible for this regenerative effect due to numerous functions performed by the liver. This process allows li the liver to recover lost mass without jeopardizing viability of the entire system, the author writes. And number seven, the last one. The first liver transplant was not a great success. Back in 1963, when Dr. Thomas E. Starzl performed the first human liver transplant at the University of Colorado Medical School, success was limited due to the wrong kinds of immunopressive drugs with no patient living for more than a few weeks. However, only four years later, the expansion of available immunopressive drugs made the first successful liver transplant possible 